This is the Thank You Ocean Report. A mobile app is enabling mariners and the public to help decrease the risk of injury or death to whales from ship strikes. Being large marine mammals, the issue really struck home for us in 2010 when a pregnant blue whale washed up on the beaches just south of San Francisco and also her aborted young was there as well. When you lose not only a female but also a juvenile that never gets to get into the population, that's when we really realize we have to do something about this issue. Michael Carver is the deputy superintendent for the Cordell Bank National Marine Sanctuary. He and his colleagues have developed the Whale Alert app. He told me that some whale populations are not as high as hoped for, specifically the numbers of blue and fin whales, but gray and humpback whales are also at risk. Two of the primary threats to whales are ship strikes and entanglement, and the app can help with both issues. So how does the Whale Alert app work? Well, after downloading the app, you simply launch it, and if you see a whale, the app will upload your sighting to the National Database of Citizen Science Sightings. Michael also tells me that if the whale is in distress, entangled in gear, or stranded on the beach, there are different stranding response teams up and down the coast. And because of GPS technology, the app knows your location and will connect you to the nearest response team. But in addition to assisting a specific whale, the app is also collecting important data, which can be helpful to scientists and researchers. We have had interest from commercial operators, from cargo ships, from whale watch operators, just your everyday mariner who's out there, whether they're recreational fishing or sailing, who really want to help increase the understanding on the distribution and abundance of whales. And it's this crowdsourced kind of Twitter feed of information, which will give us the year-round understanding of what's going on out there. And then we can work with our partners like the United States Coast Guard to fly the area and verify the data that we're getting. One of the most appealing parts of the app for the average user is that it allows you to see your location on a NOAA chart in real time. The navigation functionality is very useful. You'll also see ports data, which is information from the buoys, and then a little screen along the bottom where you can click a button, report a sighting, and it'll say, is the animal alive or dead? If it's dead, it'll direct you to some questions about stranding. If it's live, it'll direct you to a guide which will help you identify the whale, ask you some information on how many you see, its behavior, and then that sighting will immediately be beamed up to us. And then if there is a large aggregation of whales in a specific area, cargo ships can be asked to slow down. Now, the Whale Alert app can also be useful if you see whales from land because there's many points up and down the West Coast to go whale watching. And so now folks from land can also contribute, and we found that to be a, a critical piece. Imagine if thousands of us download the Whale Alert app. This has the potential of being a very significant citizen science project. You know, in the last decade, we've seen an explosion of tracking animals with satellite tags and radio tags. So we've really started to get a better understanding of their movement up and down the coast and across the Pacific, pretty much around the world's oceans. But it's very expensive to tag animals, and so with crowdsourcing sightings, if we get participation from up and down the entire West Coast, we can start to see in near real time their numbers, we can see where they go. And while we can hopefully decrease whale deaths and injuries, using the Whale Alert app can have a profound impact on us as well. It's empowering the public to help us. It's helping someone also make that connection that when they're out whale watching, they're not only seeing an animal, but that information can help the managers. And I think that's beneficial for us, it's beneficial for their experience, and it's beneficial for us as a society to work together. And my thanks to Michael Carver. And here's your Thank You Ocean Everyday Action. Please check out and download the Whale Alert app. I'm Jerry Kay.